Now let's take a look at the physical activities to install both the Firebridge Polar Power Over Long Reach Ethernet and the Adtran NetVanta 1535P. We're going to migrate an existing client from their existing uh, TDM solution to an IP based solution. So I've asked Dara to help us and assist and I'm going to time how long it takes. So let's get started. We're going to remove the existing Amphenol connector from the existing line card on the PBX and plug it in to the first port on the Polar. And we're going to do 48 ports with the Polar, uh, even though the NetVanta 1535P only has 24. Let's remove the second one now and plug it into the other port on the Polar switch. And finally, we're going to get the existing uh, connection into the network, plug it into the switch, and that's been configured to allow the IP voice to flow through the phones, and we're done. Thank you. 29.7 seconds. Okay, we're back and we're going to now do the physical installation of the Adtran NetVanta 1535P. We're migrating an existing customer from their legacy phone system, digital phone system, and we're going to move them on to an IP phone system using the switch. So let's go through the steps that are required. I've got Dara to help me, and we're going to time it just like we did with the fiber solution. Okay, starting now. Dara, remove the existing Amphenol connector from the PBX line card. And you'll have to use the NetVanta converter cable, which we've got up here at the top, to um, connect that Amphenol connector to. Oh, there, I, you'll have to use one of these gender changers. Unfortunately, the, the, uh, it's the wrong type of gender on the front of that uh, connector. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to connect in all of these RG45 connectors into the uh, copper ports on the NetVanta 1535P switch. And there's 24. Uh, it comes in a 24-port model. Now the cable has each of the ports numbered accordingly into which port they're to be connected into. So Dara's got to make sure that he matches those numbers up uh, for each of the ports on the front of the switch. Okay, now we're going to connect the Adtran NetVanta 1535P into the network using the um, uh, Cat5 cable that goes into the network. So you want to plug that cable into the uh, NetVanta 1535P. Um, no. Oh, unfortunately, we've used up all of the copper ports for this uh, cable. We'll have to get a uh, fiber to copper media converter to be able to connect that cable in. So we'll assume that that was done uh, at the time. Uh, I'll stop the stopwatch now. Three minutes and 41 seconds. Just to summarize, we've installed 48 ports using the Fibridge Polar Backbone in less than 30 seconds. We've deployed 24 ports on the Adtran NetVanta 1535P in just under four minutes. Now, You'd have to double that if you were doing 48 ports here as well. And let's just review what we just saw as far as the physical installation. So as far as time, items required, rack space that we're taking up, power source, complexity, and cost, as you'll see shortly, the advantage goes to Fibridge.